Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Friday, September 6, 2019. Free pick coming up in Friday Night College Football in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or any other capper on the roster. It's as simple as that. Again, free $60 account. Click on the link below the video to get started with DocSports.com. Great way to give it a trial run. All right, uh, last night the NFL opened things up with Green Bay in a scintillating, I'm kidding, in a very boring game, <coughs> excuse me, wins the game over Chicago by a final score of 10 to three. It was ugly start to finish. We saw some good things out of Aaron Rodgers over the second half. We saw some bad things out of that Chicago offense. I, I love the way everybody goes around predicting the Chicago Bears are going to win the division, going to win the NFC, going to win the Super Bowl, and then they come out and have a bad night and everybody's jumping ship. Oh, need a new quarterback. Got to get rid of Trubisky. Coaching's horrible. Play calling's terrible. Yeah, the play calling wasn't that great. But I'll tell you what, right from the start, I thought both teams stunk when it came to play calling on offense. I didn't have a dog in the fight, so to speak. I didn't have Green Bay, I didn't have Chicago, and I didn't have the total. What I did sit there and watch and take notes was neither team bothered to really try to get any kind of running game going. I mean, at halftime, you had, I think the, the Packers had a, 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 their top runner had six yards rushing. The Bears' top rusher had 18 yards rushing. And there wasn't a focused effort to get it going in the second half. I heard one coach after halftime saying, we got to figure out a running game, but neither team did it. It just, it was ugly. Defenses dominated. There were a whole lot of starters on both sides, on both teams, as far as offense was concerned, who didn't see hardly any or any action at all in preseason. Season. And uh, I think that's probably not a good thing moving forward. Uh, I doubt we're going to have four or five weeks of preseason football once the new uh, CBA is reached, collective bargaining agreement. Uh, but as far as now and how it's concerned, maybe for next season and preseason play, I'll tell you this much, man, you got to get your starters and regulars in there at least for a quarter or so of at least one game. Week three, I don't care when, uh, but it was absolutely ugly last night. I think we'll see both teams perform better moving forward forward. Uh, but again, Chicago's got issues with Trubisky. I've talked about it in the past. First half, first quarter, first half uh, in his career. We've seen him actually put up much better numbers the, than in the second half, although last night it wasn't good either half. Uh, but then we see defenses make adjustments and Trubisky doesn't adjust to that. We'll see what happens uh, in the next game and over the next couple of weeks for the Chicago Bears offense. But ugly performance by both offenses Last night, if you're a Green Bay fan, you got to like that defense. As Aaron Rodgers said, they have a defense. All right, enough about what happened last night. Uh, we did win again. We swept again yesterday, in fact. And we're now 9-1 and one in September, all sports. And we're up over $2,600 in September for $100 per unit players. Just five days in, basically, uh, to the month of September. 9-1 and one plus $2,600 so far. And uh, we've got a couple of plays going on Friday. I've got WNBA five-unit players. Play. WNBA is on a 14 and 4 run with our last 18, 40, 19, and 2 with our last 61 WNBA plays going back a couple of months now. Major League Baseball were perfect in September, a perfect 4 0. We look to make it 5 0 uh, with a Dominator release on Friday. So, a five unit WNBA play for Friday will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. Uh, my Major League Baseball play, a four unit Dominator, will be posted at 11 30 a.m. Eastern, 8 30 a.m. Pacific. Switch over to the gridiron. Our plays are up and ready to go over at DocSports.com. I've got five plays for Saturday's college football, four plays in Sunday's NFL. I've got a seven-unit play in Saturday afternoon action in college. I've got a six-unit play on Sunday in the Sunday night football game between the Steelers and the Patriots. Again, in all, nine plays Saturday and Sunday, college and pro football. We were number one last year in college and pro football combined. Uh, we are on a one 54 and 108, 59% long term run in college football. We won nine of the last 10 weeks in regular season last year in college football, going 29 and 14. And in the NFL, last 393 plays, 59% against the spread, 60, 35, and 2 is our current run in the NFL. So nine plays in all, five Saturday, four Sunday, seven unit Saturday, six unit Sunday, and all nine plays are available right now over at docsports.com. So don't miss out. By the way, WNBA. We got the play, the five unit play on Friday. They're off Saturday. Regular season ends in a couple of days. Be sure to check us out for the playoffs.
props as we've had this tremendous run in our first season handicapping and betting the WNBA. Tremendous run. All right, let's get to the free pick. Friday Night Football, Wake Forest taking on Rice. Wake about a 19-point favorite uh, at this point. And listen, here's the thing. Wake Forest, uh, they fell a little short last week coming up about a point and a half short, if you got it late, against Utah State against the spread. They won the game outright, 38-35, uh, and they did what they do offensively. They were able to pass the ball for 400 yards. They ran the ball well, over 570 yards of offense, but their defense gets a little bit easier opponent this time around because Rice, well, they did what they do last week. You know, they ended up rushing for about a buck 80 against Army. They didn't pass the football 60 yards basically through the air and they lost 14 to seven. So you're going to see for Wake's defense an opponent this week who is one dimensional talking about Rice. They can run the football, not great, okay though, uh, but they can't pass the football. And I think Wake Forest will have an easier time defending uh, Rice this week than they did obviously against Utah State, a good Utah State team last week. As far as Rice is concerned, they did defend Army well. They held them to 14 points in a seven point loss and Rice covered a big number. 23 basically was the, the point spread in that one, getting 23 from Army. But they took on an offense that resembles everything they want to do on offense. Gonna be tough for this this week. Wake averages about 33 points per game last year, scored 38 last week. Uh, they topped 50 points per game a couple of times last year. They gained almost 600 yards last week against Utah State. I just don't think Rice is going to be able to hang around in this one against this kind of attack from the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. So our recommendation, our opinion, free pick for Friday is the Wake Forest Demon Deacons minus the points in Friday Night Football. All right, listen, I hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget about our nine football plays available right now, Saturday, Sunday, five on Saturday, four on Sunday. Let's have a big weekend. We're nine and one so far in September. And again, if you have yet to subscribe to these videos, hey, please do so if you like it, man. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Saturday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Might even get it up a little bit earlier than that. Let's have a great Friday.